alert about music. So you, you 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 left university, and and what did you do? Where did you go? Um, where did you go, Michael? Yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> you went not from sure. Durham to where? Well, actually, not sure. I yeah, Soho for a lot of the time, <laughs> um, to be honest. Um, uh, I had a I got a, a, a graduate new job in a bank, um, which really wasn't me. Um, right. And then it was sort of did three years of doing that, and that was the time when the 2001 election. God, that's beginning to date me a little bit. Um, and that was the point... Not I at said, all. Well, <laughs> Not at all, said Robert. You know, very good of the air. <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> um, but that was, that was the time I suddenly thought, actually, you know, what I'm doing in banking is, isn't me. And actually, I want to go and do something totally different. And because yeah. I'd read politics, because I'd always been interested in you know, current affairs, that was, you know... And what did you do? Where cool. did you go? So uh, I literally applied to... The Tory party had lost the 2001 general election. Um, I applied to their press office. And, you know, I just rose in and said, you know, are you looking for press offices at the moment? And, you know, I have a bit of background in comms, in banking. Um, brought in for an interview. That was clearly not the time when anybody else was really trying to join the Tory party. It was an endear of its new fortunes. We'll take you, um, we'll yeah, take you. I, yeah, I think it was probably an element of that, to be honest. Um, <laughs> I was pushing out a very much an open door. And, and, then, and then I thought, you know, to be honest, are those... That time I thought I'd be there for a few years get some experience you know do my little bit um, and then in Duncan Smith's leadership you know change into Michael Howard's leadership and I'd worked quite a lot with Michael in opposition so I then had to stay on partly because of people like you know Guy Black as well being my boss stayed on to fight the 2005 campaign and then David Cameron came along um, as party leader now I have been massively impressed with him when he was um, shadow education uh, secretary under Michael Howard you know I'd worked with him you know in, in back back in the day you know when he and George Osborne were just the sort of junior members you know coming up through the shadow team uh, but then David Cameron absolutely is my sort of politician he and he absolutely gets things like the equality issue again partly it's generational Mm -hmm. yeah, partly it's generational it's just never been an issue with him and I knew at that point that I was going to be you know in for another five years because I, this was a man who I thought would make a tremendous prime minister um, so I was signed up to the at least the last general election is he one of your role models? Uh, yes, without wanting to sound too sycophantic, he would be one of my role models. Um, he is. A, he's. He's. A, he's a hero, and because he's, he's pushed through the Tory Party um, changes, which, and if I'd asked you five years ago, you know, whether you thought the Tory Party was going to, would actually back same-sex civil marriage, you'd probably have really laughed me out of the studio. Um, but David Cameron took on the party in so many ways, and. It made a lot of there are a lot of people behind you know in the party at large party members you know people who work for the party who had also changed and you know society recognised society had changed but you needed a leader who could clearly say it you needed a leader who could say in his you know first speech you know that in what was you know what was what was important was the value of a relationship whether that was you know man and man woman and woman or man and woman he was able to do that because he was different he was a different generation mm. but he just got it because actually it, we got to a point where. It can be normal. It is normal, you know, to be gay or lesbian. Um, you know, it's it shouldn't be a big issue. You know, we should all be valued for what we can contribute to society, and and there should simply shouldn't be laws that block us, you know, um, in some way or discriminate us against us in some way. Now, Labour, you know, did a lot of the heavy lifting on that. I'm delighted that the coalition government's you know, taking it further, um, and you know, with the prime minister who completely yeah. believes in it. So you really have a good re relationship with the prime minister. Has there ever been a time where you've actually had to bite your lip? And go. Oh, no, I, I can't say that. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. Uh, certainly not on LGBT issues. No, I mean we. You know, it's it's a. There's always been a very open dialogue right. about you know sort of politics. It has to be. You know, politics is in part about the exchange of ideas. Um, but you no, know, there's never been a time when I've you know been inhibited you know or felt I should bite my lip on something. No, I mean he's he's a, he's an amazing man. You know, and quite frankly, having now seen it on the inside, it is a relentless job. You know, to I mean to be prime minister, you have to be you know I think quite exceptional. Um, and and he is. Um, but he's a he's a really nice guy. One of my yeah, I'll share with you one of the most you know one of my favourite memories, which is um, uh, a group of us have been invited to Chequers, the Prime Minister's uh, official residence um, in Buckinghamshire, for a barbecue during the summer, and it's all very relaxed. You know, we're all there in jeans and trainers and you new know, t-shirts, and um, we all went for a walk afterwards. And I robbed my partner, and so the Prime Minister went off, you know, for a walk up a hill, chatting to each other. It's the first time Robin 
the prime minister properly. And, you know, obviously, it's quite daunting. You know, I mean, for me, it's, you know, he's the prime minister, but he's also, you know, David I've worked with for, you know, 10 years. Um, but it was just so special to see, you know, a conversation, a normal, fantastic conversation going on between, you know, somebody I loved and also somebody who I greatly admire and appreciate so it's um he's you know he's a fantastic man i've never had to um i've never felt in, inhibited or in, or intimidated or anything else about to, you know, sort of pushing what i think's right and what i think's right when it comes to equality passionate about music